Hey, what is going on guys? It's been a while since I posted a video. Just thought I'd uh, share with you the fridge I decided to buy. See, here it is. It is the, um, oh, I'm trying to remember. It's the Samsung four-door flex uh, with a family hub 3.0. With Bixby and all that jazz. It's a gorgeous fridge. That was the main reason I bought it. And I got a hell of a deal on it. Because these things usually will run you with tax and everything over five grand. Happened to pick it up for a little less than 3500 Brand new. Shipped to the house. Set up and all that. 3500 So I thought that was a pretty good deal. As you can tell it does match the rest of my Samsung stuff. Got washer and dryer over there as well all black stainless steel so anyways let's get back into the fridge since there really are no videos on this fridge and so unless it's uh basically you know someone who's samsung like sponsored them to do a video on the fridge i actually went out and bought this so this is not sponsored or anything like that this is like an actual kind of little review i've had it for a week now uh, this is the 22 what are the 22 cubic feet uh, counter depth model? I actually think I should have went with the uh, other model, which is actually cheaper. Uh, it is the 27 cubic feet model. It's actually like, I don't remember how much cheaper, but it is cheaper. And I probably should have went with it because I do have quite a bit more room here I could push out. Because these doors, when you open them, they will hit. Well, they won't hit, but they'll come really close to hitting this. And I do have the fridge pulled out quite a bit from the back of the wall. Uh, it does have the AKJ speak or the AKG speaker, which is actually really loud, a lot louder than what I thought it was. Black stainless steel, obviously. Um, it's got the ice maker, cubed or crushed water. It's lighted, like if you hold this for three seconds. There's a light, well you can't tell because it's light in here, but anyways, that's how you can keep the light on if you want. Or you just hit it and the light will come on. Uh, as far as it being, like not being able to keep the fingerprints and stuff off of it, uh, it does a pretty good job on like this part. But once you get into this, like the silver stuff, when you actually hold the door and push them open with the door, that stuff collects fingerprints like crazy. I did just clean it up just a minute ago. Well, anyways, we'll open it up. It is bright. This is the part of the freezer. Just got your normal stuff in here. All this pulls out. This little door here pulls out. It's not really all that big for a freezer, but it is the flex option. You can also use this as a freezer as you want, which is actually what I do right now but I don't really have anything in there. This here is kind of a matte finish, which will show fingerprints as well. Open it up in here. Let's step back so you can look. This here is pretty much useless. This little tray here, you can't really put anything in here, but maybe cheese. And you get, you know, a good size bottle of ketchup in there, but these little trays are pretty much useless, really, in my opinion. The other side and you got three large ones over here that holds quite a bit and you got pull out drawers in here it is really bright in here which I do like of course this here part here pulls up I'm sure you've probably seen videos on it if not then but so you can put that this obviously here flips up it's a triple metal cooling um that's pretty much really it for the inside and there it does have uh three cameras that are on here i'll just show you here see there's one two three cameras here just when you shut your door make sure that is closed which it usually is and then it'll slide right up in there and it automatically opens it and then it closes like so So let's get to the main reason why people buy this fridge. 
is the huge, I can't remember how big it is, 21 inch or so, but it is massive on here. It's just like a huge tablet. You can put any pictures you want on there. Uh, Pandora. I'll give you a quick test of uh, the sound. Chicago of, comedian. Of the sound. Of the speaker. How well you're going to be able to tell over the phone, but that thing is freaking loud. It is really loud. Of course, your calendar, um, you, it syncs up with whatever you put on your phone. It'll sync up right to here, which is actually really good. I like that feature. That's the main reason I bought it was to have this big ass calendar here. But you can put whatever you want into it. I'm not gonna mess with a whole lot of it. I'm just kind of basically just this here's your fridge freezer mode where you can. Adjust the temperature. Uh, this here is where you do your um, your uh, flex part of the deal. You can get it white wine, cheese, vegetables, meat and fish, soft freeze, or back to frozen. I just keep it on frozen for now. But you can also adjust any of those to your liking. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Settings, we'll pull that up. Whoa, I about dropped my phone. That would suck. She got display. You can change, you know, your wallpaper, screensaver, all that shit. You can change all that. Wi Fi, your sound, Bluetooth, voice, your profile, security, language, date, time, about device, clean screening mode, which is pretty handy. Uh,. And I'll show you the apps right quick. These are the apps that are on here. Um, I will say if you live in a smaller city like I do, 90% of these apps you can't even use. Just because I don't live anywhere where there's like, uh, let's see, Grubhub. I don't have anything like that near me. Uh, what else? Fresh Direct, nothing like that. Uh, Instacart, can't use that. Uh, Nespresso, I could probably use that's basically for coffee, but I don't deal with that. The Ring app works pretty good on here. ShopRite, I haven't even noticed that. It does have Spotify, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Uber. Can't use it, Uber. Oh, screen timed out. I forgot I've got eight. Only on 30 seconds. But, anyways, we'll jump into the Ring right quick. So you gotta have it up here. Maybe. I don't have to put in my information again. No. But it, it'll it work on here. And I don't have the doorbell. I have the Ring floodlight cam. And it actually works really well. So, I, I, I was told that only the uh, doorbell, Ring doorbell worked. But actually the floodlight cam will work with this as well. Uh... Of course, you can move any of these around how you want them. If you do want to see more on this fridge, I will do my best to post more on it. Like if you got comments or questions or anything about it, I'll do what I can to let you know the information on it. Um, I will say if you do buy this, uh, give it about a week to get everything set up because when you first get it set up, a lot of the stuff doesn't want to work. Like I had some major problems the first couple of days I couldn't get it to stay connected to the Wi-Fi but like I said I've had it for about a week now and the last three or four days it hasn't disconnected from the Wi-Fi at all so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now I appreciate you watching you can leave a like if you did you can always subscribe if you want if you got any questions about this fridge uh, I will do my best to answer them or post another video all right hope to see you on the next one peace